On this week's show, the roots music of Saltwater Hank. She laughs at her hands as they tremble while she pulls potatoes from the ground. She'll laugh away the pain, say the garden's keeping me sane. Gonna work the land that I know so Gonna work the land that I know so well. Old mother's been gone about a year, but the fruits of her labor still here. We'll go up and harvest fish Gonna honor her dying wish Preserve the land that we know so well Preserve the land that we know Now the grandkids all have children of their own Spitting image of their grandmother to the bone They grew up to work the land And they're doing all they can to preserve the land they know so well To preserve the land they know so well I like to say that I play roots with lyrics that pertain to the area that I'm in so uh, taking a lot of influence from you know, the folk greats from, from many decades ago who sang, sang about the songs and uh, the people around them and the places that were near and dear to them, I like to uh, incorporate that into my own style. I'm going to work at the cannery I'm gonna have a bad time It's the next best thing to slave labor And I gotta find a way to make a dime As bad as it comes, good as it gets Bad as it comes, good as it gets well, I've been working to live, but I'm not living yet Bad as it comes, good as it gets well, This summer no one's gonna like me Cause I smell really gross When my face is all covered in fish slime So don't you get too close Bad as it comes, good as it gets As bad as it comes, good as it gets I've been working to live, but I'm not living yet Bad as it comes, good as it gets Oh, 
Well, the boss and I, we don't get along He laughs at me cause I can't pay the rent So I picked up the salmon and I swung it like a bat And down, down, down he went As bad as it comes, good as it gets Bad as it comes, good as it gets I've been working to live, but I'm not living yet Bad as it comes, good as it gets Bad as it comes, good as it gets My influences come from, from here and the, the people that I meet a lot of the time, the, the stories of this region, I guess you could say, um, northern BC and, and uh, you know, around here, there's so much history and there's so many inspiring people and so many things, you know, that people do and are worth singing about. And as well as like, um, you know, Politically, things things make their way into my music too. Things that I uh, hold dear to my heart and feel like singing about, and uh, that's that's basically what influences me. Drove BC rails 37 16 out of Pemberton, barreling down the track. Said the best thing that I know about driving those trains is you pull the throttle and you never look back. For the 35 years that he was an engineer, he's brought many folks far and wide. And his motto, Dealing with the train, hopping hobos, they've got it rough, so we'll always let them ride. We'll let them ride, let them ride all across BC. We'll let them ride. We'll let them ride, let them ride. Bring them where they need to be. We'll let them ride, let them ride. Hobo had hopped on a train bound for Rupert where there's many jobs in the port The engineer had found him riding in a chip car shambles and all out of sorts His face was all black from the dirt on the train and his clothes tattered and torn and the engineer, he smiled that hobo and he said, Come ride in the engine where it's warm. We'll let him ride, let him ride to the northwest coast. We'll let him ride, let him ride, let him ride. We'll let him ride, let him ride. Where the mountain goats are plenty and the snow flies early and the winters are so cold lived a man in a cabin the engineers knew him well and the stories of him they had told one winter had proved to be too much for that man and it is cabin they found he had passed they took his body to the train he'd ridden many times and this time it would be his last 
Let him ride, let him ride to his family so they can say goodbye. Let him ride, let him ride to his final resting place. Well, let him ride, let him ride. For me, it's about just feeling. Uh, authentic and sincere about what I'm doing so if I have a, I feel like if I have a physical and an emotional connection to a place um, it's it's gonna feel better to sing about it um, than if if you know I'm singing about somewhere else that perhaps I've never been to or uh, you know something that's not relevant to me for the sake of um, perhaps appealing to a, a broader audience uh, I get a lot of enjoyment from touring northern BC with with the music that I create because the people appreciate it and when I when I go somewhere um, you know, it, at least once every time if uh, if I'm singing about you know my uncle who was an engineer for BC rail or um, you know something along those lines people really connect to that in a really personal way and that's um, that's what I strive for, is that, that personal connection through my music. Old Coyote wanted to find something to eat. Licked his lips and he wriggled his nose and he hustled on down the street. He followed his nose to Chinatown and much to his delight. The back door of a restaurant was open so he thought he might take a glance inside perhaps he could sneak in but the cook was near the door so he hid behind the trash been too long he thought since i had chum in and he put on his coat and hat tapped on the door with his cane I Well, the cook came to the door. He said, I've got nothing for you. And Coyote said, Well, that's all right, some chow mein would do. And I'll teach you how to yodel. If I could eat chow mein forever The cook said for a lifetime supply You're gonna have to do much better So Coyote said, all right How about the true north strong and free? The cook's lips, they formed a smile He said, that sounds good to me And just like that, the country was sold And the back door deal was done Old Coyote just laughed and laughed Cause in his mind he'd won I Next week on Earl's Music Emporium, the music of outlaw country punk rocker Joey Oldleaf. <laughs>